is done. It's a chago quad no more. Nakwani, oh, you go. The rice is done. back to my channel you are welcome no no the bye today I'm making jello fries and I want to show you people how I prepare my own jello fries so this is all the what I'm going to use to prepare the jello fries this is tomato paste and this is the rice I'm using this is the meat I'm going to use is a turkey breast and that's my onions over there and this is my blended tomato sorry I've already blended it I normally when I go to vegetable market I buy them I blend them pack them in the freezer so whenever I want to cook fries too or jello fries I'll just bring one container out and you will be frozen what is there is red pepper fresh tomatoes um hot pepper and ginger if you like garlic you can put garlic but i don't like garlic so that's why i didn't put garlic and this is my chicken stock water i'm going to use to cook the jello fries and this is all the spices this is thyme this is nutmeg This is aromat for taste. This is curry. And this is jollof spicy. And this is my nut chicken. And um, this is coconut milk. Guys, have you tried coconut milk in jollof rice before? Not coconut rice, I'm talking about jollof rice. Try it and you will tell me how it looks like. So I normally put coconut on my jello fries you give it different taste and flavor just have a look of it and you will let me know at the comment section so let's dive into the cooking now my pot is on the fire now i'm putting in the meat onions Time. Hurry. This one here. Check out for my nuts make. I'm putting two nut chicken now. going to stay it I'm going to cover it leave it for the next 10 minutes to cook so after 10 minutes that's it is cooked now that's it so I'm going to transfer it in a oven pan and put it in oven just to grill it for like 10 minutes I'm using extra virgin olive oil. So the oil is hot now. I'm putting my hot sliced onions. 
I'm going to fry it for a minute. I'm putting my tomato paste first. I'm going to fry it first. fried it for like five minutes so I'm going to put the pepper as I blend now do you see it how let I'll make a video how I prepare it do you see it I'm going to cup, leave it now to fry for like 30 minutes. It's after 15 minutes. This is my two. I'm still. I'm going to add all my spices now. I'm putting my curry. Time. Nutmeg, jello spice. I'm going to turn it in. I'm putting my hunger. Going to leave it now to fry for the next five minutes. Then I'll start putting the water. Add the coconut milk and put the water, uh, meat water and leave it to boil. Then I will now put my rice. You see it? I'm going to add my coconut water now. I'm going to test. I'm going to add my aromas. Adding this now. When I finish cooking it again, I'm still going to add a little bit more butter. I'm going to cover the water now to boil while I wash rice, but I'm going to do that off the camera. So, it's the water is now. So I'm going to put the turn the rice. I'm 
rice is already washed. I wash it off the camera. it. I'm going to cover it now and then lower the lights. I'll open it in the next five minutes. Okay. Let me shake the rice now. Yeah. Wow. Can you see it? should dry a bit more. Let's see. Leave it to dry. More. And I'll come back in the next five minutes. Five minutes. I'm going to add my last sliced onions. And I'm putting another so just small butter. Remember, I've put before, and that's it. I'm going to stay now. Wow. I'm going to just cover it for the next five minutes. And that's finished. So, that's it. It's done. Esi chago kwa numo Mwa Ne kwa ne Oye go The rice is done As finished cooking Thank you for watching And I will see you in my next video Subscribe Drop your comment And I will get back to you Thank you Like and share Share is allowed Mwa Bye-bye.